Hello, class. Good morning. Hello, can you hear me, class? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. There you go. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Nidia. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Susan, hello. Cecilia, hi. How are you guys? Oh, man, I can't wait until my hair grows. I really hate seeing my hair like this. Why? Um, I don't know. I shaved my head. I did that once. <laughs> why Why did you do it? Do you remember? I was tired of my hair, so I said, nah. <laughs> Those things that are like spontaneous. Yes. Well, actually, I shaved my head because my um, I have a friend that she was operated from from her head. She has like a tumor, mm. and um, you know, como es solidaridad. So I shaved all my head. But um, look, Nidia, you are at the pharmacy. Yes, teacher. Oh, but you're in Sons. Where are you at? Sonsonate, no? Yes, yes, Sonsonate, yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. And Edgar Abel Tejata. We have Alejandra Beatriz, Irma, Susan. How many hours did you work today, Susan? Eight. Was uh, is it going day? But uh, <laughs> do you choose how many hours you you work or? Yes. Mostly, sometimes they ask me for it, but uh, mostly I I pick my schedules. But definitely, you have to work eight hours every day, no, or whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, eight hours. Yes, that's the minimum. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have a very cool job because I work from seven to three. Mm -hmm. So really? I work eight hours, but the company, they give me 30 minutes for lunch, but they don't discount it. Like, oh, they, that's good. Yeah, because they say, you know what? Take take whatever you need to eat, but please don't take one hour. <laughs> because you, <laughs> because if, if, if they tell me, if you want to take one hour, okay, fine. But it would be from seven to four. And I said, no, I want, I want seven to three. Okay, great. And they tell me, but we need you to eat. Just please don't, <laughs> you know, don't abuse. As my in my work, I can be eating all day long if I want to. Oh yeah, me too. But yeah, be you I work from have... home, right? No, not at all. I oh, go to office, so I can be eating all day. But I just have ten minutes break. That's uh, I hate that actually. <laughs> That's the only thing that I don't like from a job. Oh man, I've been in my job line for four months. They don't they have never checked on me. I can take a break whenever I want. I can I can do whatever I want, really. They just want results. But really, I don't take advantage of that because that's the bad thing. Eventually they catch you, you know. Yeah. So and it's cool because they pay me every Friday. <laughs> That's cool. Where's your office, Susana? In San Salvador. What is the name of the company? Uh, it's Monitech Security. Be I think I heard about them. I think they called me once. Really? <laughs> I I want to go, but they, I did not accept it because it was only they need a graveyard shift. Oh. Probably. Yeah, it was something like that, I remember. Es el que nadie quiere. Bueno, I used to love that um, graver. I love it. I prefer graver. Actually. Oh, yeah, for me, I would I would, I would, prefer graveyard. I love graveyard, but when you're married and you have family and children, and you have no life. 
Mm -hmm. Hello, Irma Raquel. Where are you? Hello, very good. Are you in your house? Are you in your house? Yes. Man, your wall is big. You have a big wall behind you. Excuse me, sister. You have a big wall behind you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All right, and let me see who else is here. Johanna Yesenia, how are you? Good evening, sir. Fine. What about you? I'm hot. I'm hot today. Let me see. Edgar Abel, what's up, dude? What's new? Hi, there. Oh, everything okay. Yes, we had a hot day. We have a lot of rain in the afternoon. And we have been a little busy the, the whole day. What about you, teacher? Where, I'm sorry, where do you work? Mm, I don't have a real job. I only have a, a little store, Tigo Money, and a uh, little grocery store. Oh yes, right, here, right here. Store. Right here at my home. Yeah, oh that's cool though. You work in your house. Yes. Who is Laura? Who is Laura? I forgot. Is Laura the lawyer? Not the chat is the Catherine. Who is Laura? She's writing to me that she can't be in class today. Mm, Laura, Laura, Laura. You see, this is the problem with women. Women don't do that. <laughs> no, women tend, tienden a, women tend to use their second name or their first name or, or you know, it, that always happens to me like hi teacher i have a question i'm hi who is this joanna who is joanna so yo carla oh, okay <laughs> es que me amo carla joanna oh, okay tell me <laughs> yeah women like to play with names <laughs> sometimes I had a, I sometimes meant to I had a class I had, th listen to this in my previous class this guy his name was Roberto no his name was Beto but his name was like I forgot Carlos Eduardo but he said he always put Beto and one day hola soy Carlos who is Carlos 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 Beto pues Beto <laughs> Beto has nothing to do with cat. Es que un apodo ese chiquito me pone. Oh, okay. Like, how? <laughs> Tell me. Okay, let's do the. Let me open this. Do, 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 do. do you see my screen? Wait, let, let's open it. Do you see yes. my screen? All right. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, so so remember we have been practicing um using the verb and the noun, the verb and the noun, right? We finish here, tablecloth. Let's let's do the listening exercise. All right. Let me open. Turn an item they purchased. What? Can you hear? 
Yeah, we can. I can. Okay, do it. we can yes. wait to rewind and let's listen to the. Okay. Listen to three customers return an item they purchased. What's the problem? Take notes. Then complete the chart. One. Can I help you? Yes, I bought this briefcase here last week, but there's something wrong with the lock. I can't get it to close properly. Let me see. Yes, I see what you mean. The lock seems to be jammed or something. No problem. I'll get you another one. Sorry about that. Two. Excuse me. Yes? I wonder if you could take a look at these shoes I bought here. They're pretty new, but they seem to be falling apart. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this doesn't look right. The stitching is coming out. How long did you say you've had them? Only about a month. Here's the receipt. Hmm, yes. Well, let me exchange these for you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Three. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? You see this shirt? I bought it here a few weeks ago, but the first time I washed it, the color changed. It went from bright red to light pink. How did you wash it? Well, I just tossed it into the washing machine with my other clothes. What temperature did you use? I usually wash my clothes in hot water, so I guess hot. Well, did you check the washing instructions? Um, maybe not. Well, you see here on this label, it says wash in cold water only. Uh-huh. So I'm really sorry, but since you didn't follow the washing instructions, I can't really do anything for you. Okay, number one, problem. Lock, the, number one, what was the problem? The lock doesn't work or lock doesn't work? Lock doesn't work. Lock doesn't work. Number two, will the store exchange it? Yes. I, what was the item? Lock, right? Number two, what was the item? Shoes. And what happened? Were they coming apart or falling apart? Falling apart. Falling apart. Falling apart. Will the, the store exchange it? Yes. 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 Number three, what was the item? Shirt. Uh, was shirt. 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 Uh, sure. So, number one, uh, what was the problem? The color changed or the color lasted? The color, the color, the color changed. changed. No, and then we have, will the store exchange it? No. No. Why not? Uh, because he, he didn't, didn't read follow the instruction. The number one is a briefcase. Briefcase, correct. Sure. Okay, yes, it's true. Describing problems. Okay, now let's go to the video part. It says, it keeps burning. Hello, has it ever happened to you that everything goes wrong? Sometimes everything needs to be fixed because everything keeps on breaking. Now listen to the conversation and find out what happened to these people. Don't forget to practice the conversation. Page 38, exercise 6. 
conversation. It keeps burning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay. I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Listen to another tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances, too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. You noticed another tenant called? What was the tenant's problem? Type your answers on our discussion box. <clears throat> I, I like that part. It's funny that. Are you sure it's the stove or is your cooking? Oh. It was kind of rude. <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> okay next it says at the end of the sections participants will learn to use and comprehend the use of keep and need with gerunds we'll also be able to practice need plus passive infinitives let's see about that let's watch the video describing problems part two Welcome. If you paid attention to the last conversation, you noticed the use of need and keep. I'll ask you to stay around and learn different ways to report problems. Describing problems two. Keep plus gerund. Everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off. Need plus gerund. The oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. Need plus passive infinitive. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. Now that you have listened to the audio program, we will keep on showing you how to describe or report problems. In this opportunity, we will do by using keep plus gerund, need plus gerund, and need plus passive infinitive. Do you remember what's the problem with the oven? That's right, the oven keeps burning everything. Let's stop here. Notice what follows keep, a gerund. Burning is a gerund. This is what we will study, keep plus gerund. A gerund follows the verb keep when it refers to a repetitive action. My teacher keeps telling me to learn my verbs. Her siblings keep fighting over the TV. Now we'll study need plus gerund or passive infinitive. Either way we use need plus gerund or need plus passive infinitive, it means the same. You may say this chair needs fixing or this chair needs to be fixed. We hope you got the structure. You know, in my house, a room needs to be built. Can you think of two home improvements you would like to make? Can you type them on a discussion box? Choose any of the structures learned.
gerund or passive infinitive. Either way, teacher keeps telling me to learn. This is what we will study. Gerund follows the verb keep when it refers to a repetitive action. Okay, so. Um, when you use keep, next would be a gerund. So that means the action is still continuing. The action hasn't stopped. Yes, can you give me um, an example? Like for example, if I say it hasn't stopped raining, can you say that with keep? It keeps raining. It keeps raining. He keeps lying. She keeps lying. She keeps driving. Mm -hmm. Keep driving. To give directions, you know, like, you know, sometimes they call you, where are you? Oh, I'm here. Okay, keep on going. Two more blocks. You know, sometimes the pedidos, drivers, people, they don't know where you are. And so where are you? Oh, I am. Dice tal, tal. Okay. So keep going two more blocks and there's a blue house. That's my house. Oh, okay. Keep going. Keep. Mm -hmm. When you're having fun with your friends, remember when you partied with your friends all night? They say, come on, man, let's keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago my teacher keeps telling me to learn my verbs her siblings keep fighting over the tv the politicians in el salvador keep doing the same thing <laughs> keep lying <laughs> they keep lying they keep fighting But it's fun to watch. Okay, oh. can you can you give me an example, Edgar Tejada? Um, the the sobo player keep run, running around the bases. Okay. Yeah. Can you give me an example, Irma? My sister keeps playing in the park. Your sister what? My, my sister keeps playing in the park. Okay, good. Joanna? Can you give me an example? Okay, teacher. My husband keeps driving at work all days. Okay, good. Yes. Thank you. All right. And you can use it more for also for expressions too. Oh, uh, like, you know, like, oh man, I hate my job, but I keep on working because, but I keep working there because. The pay is good. An example, right? Or I hate my job, but I keep working there because it's difficult to find a job. Right. Yeah, and those are expressions we all have used in the past before. Okay, so here we have number one. Samuel Alvarez, are you there? Tania Pamela, are you there? Reina Elizabeth, are you there? Alejandro, you see? I teach her as keeps breaking down. 
what keeps breaking down? Okay, Cecilia de Los Angeles, can you read number one, please? Uh, keep going ahead. Okay, but I need you to read the complete sentence because... My computer is driving crazy it. No, that's not what it says. My computer is my computer... Is driven crazy. It no, kept it's... breaking down. Yeah, but okay. Here, aquí maten dos pájaros de un tiro. Okay, una. Obviamente lean la oración, pero también lean la la ortografía. Driving me. For example, my computer is driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. Yes, there's a very big difference to my computer is driving me crazy. You know, that's how you can practice your 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 um fluency. Samuel, can you repeat please? My computer is driving crazy. No, it's... repeat please. My computer is driving. Gracie? No. Please read carefully. My, You're missing one word. My computer is driving me crazy. Exactly. Aunque está mal escrito porque es separado, but it's actually my computer is driving me crazy. It. It. Keeps breaking down. There's a lot of options here. It keeps freezing, it keeps breaking down, it keeps crashing. So it keeps breaking down. Okay, let's do number two. Can you do number two, Edson Stanley? Okay, teacher. The the buttons on the remote control always stick. They keep jam. Uh, how do you say? Keep jam jamming. Jamming. They keep on jamming. They keep jamming. Okay. Keep jamming. Good. Number three. Number three, Irma. Oh. 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 That you see the player often jumps do another song is keep skipping. I'm sorry, it keeps skipping, right? Can you imagine how old this book is? But I've said CD player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the 90s. Yes, the 90s. It keeps it keeps skipping. You know what I remember about the CD players is when I was walking to the to my school, it was like when I uh was a little bit jumping and was every time. <laughs> yes, it's true. And remember, if if your CD player had like anti shock, you were cool. Yeah. <laughs> You got money, baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're rich. Okay. Yes, Alejandra <laughs> Beatriz. Uh, hi, good evening. I want to know what is the meaning of skipping. Okay, good. Who can explain to uh, Alejandra Beatriz what skipping is? The skipping is when the CD player is uh, doesn't play them the music that we are looking for. She, I, I, it keeps like skipping, skipping or saltando a otra música. Oh, man, in English. 
in English. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Explain in English. All right. I couldn't finish. <laughs> You know, you know that's a very, very good practice. I really okay. recommend you to try to explain something in English because it's really not that easy. Okay. Many people think it's easy and it's not. Another another way to explain skipping is jumping. Yes. No. Watch. Look. No. Remember what I told you about the kiss method. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Yes. Okay. So listen, Alejandra Beatriz, are you there? Yes. So skip is, for example, everything has an order, correct? Yes. If you put a CD, it has song number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes? Yes, yes. So let's say you like song number one, number two, number four, and number six. So you listen to song number one, okay, next number two, but you don't like num song number three, so you skip it. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Do you see, did I use complicated words? No. So that's how you need to practice when you want to explain something. Use more your imagination and you can always use easy words. When you need to explain something, use an example. Like I use an example with you. A CD has 10 songs. Well, number one, number two, number three, four, five, six. You don't like song number three. So you listen to song number one. Song number two. Oh, but I don't like song number three. Okay, skip it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank yeah. you. That's a good way to describe it. You're welcome, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can also, it's not only on CD, you can skip many things. Anything that has an order. For example, when you go to... Uh... It's like a turn the page. I think <laughs> yes, I it's, there's an order. Like for example, if you go to a wedding, when you go to a wedding, first you have the entree, and then you have the dinner, and then you have the dessert. Correct. Yes. And in, in, in the ceremony, so sometimes you say, you know what, I want to skip dinner. I want dessert. Like a uh, skip a uh, step. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. You know, class, what I told you is true. When you when you explain something, it's really I really recommend you to explain something because that's when you practice your English, your speaking, and your creativity. I have a class. I remember I had a class in TOEFL, and I had a student from Jamaica. I had a student from Mexico and one was from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And I told the class, okay, uh, and everybody explained to me something about their country. Menos El Salvador. I asked, the, I asked the, the lady, can you please explain to the class what is a pupusa? Do you know what she did? What? She did this. Look at me. What? She just did a pupusa. She 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 gave me the circle and she she clapped. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Okay, great, Miss Jamaica. So now you understand what is a pupusa?" And she says, "No." <laughs> Mexico, do you understand what is a pupusa now? She says, no, because that was not an explanation. So I told her, please explain what is a pupusa. So I said, ah, it's, it's a tortilla. Oh, it's a tortilla. Yeah, okay. But, you know, but I what I really wanted her to do is to explain because it could be easy or complicated. So uh, 
she had to discover a way to explain what was a pupusa. <laughs> It was interesting. All right. So let's do number do, 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 number four. Nidia, can you do number four, please? I don't remember. I don't remember. But think about it. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. I don't remember when I remember it would they keep crashing. It I keeps crashing. I don't okay. yes. But you know what? If you got this wrong, I don't I don't blame you because this is possible, keeps going dead. Keeps okay. breaking down is possible too. It keeps breaking down. Keeps crashing is possible too. Keeps freezing, también. I mean, they're all possible. Okay, number five. Can you do number five, Susana? All right. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. Um, they going dead. They keep going dead. They keep going dead, sorry. Okay, keep crashing. Okay, yeah. number... Six. Tanya. Tanya, Pamela, can you do number six, please? You can use it if solar. I'm sorry? I can you? Tanya, can you do number six, please? Read the sentence and then the answer. Sometimes, it can't be used is solar, the power, the calculator. It's, um, the keeps freezing. Okay. Okay, class. Only Tanya. Tanya, what is ED? Um, not sure that teacher. Mm -hmm. mira que está en mayúscula. Ahí va una pista. Mm -hmm. So what is ED? No teacher, no sure that. It's a name. Mm -hmm. Because I know that you don't understand it. What what you read, I know that you don't understand. And if you mm -hmm. don't understand the, the, the sentence, you will not understand the answer. I know that. So sometimes you said this, sometimes ED can't use a solar power calculator. Okay, dos pistas, Tanya. ED, E is with capital and it says his. Que es ED. Anya? Hello, Tanya, ¿me escucha? Tanya? Yes, teacher. Okay, so what is ED? No, no. Okay, no, no, no entiende, ¿verdad? Está bien. Está bien, perfectamente entiendo. Lo que sí no entiendo es por qué no me pregunta. Teacher, what did you say? Look at the no. No, it's okay. What I'm saying is that when you don't understand class, tell me. I think like quién fue que me hizo la pregunta, and thank you for asking me. Quién me preguntó? Skipping. Very good. That's something new. Is for you. Okay, Tanya. Ed is Ed. Ed de Eduardo. Ed como sirveto Alberto. 
Yes. Okay, teacher. So it says sometimes Ed can't use his solar powered calculator. It what class? Keeps breaking down. It keeps breaking down. Class, le voy a decir una cosa. Si usted pusieron algo aquí y algo les y les salió mala, no se preocupen porque realmente todas estas pueden puede ser la respuesta. Yes. Lastimosamente, Platform solo pide una, pero realmente si la calculadora no funciona, it keeps going dead, is correct. Keeps breaking down, is correct. Keeps crashing, is correct. Keeps freezing, is correct. So, in my opinion, don't worry. I mean, the 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 platform wants one specific answer, but they they're all correct. Somebody, I'm happy to this. The answer machine never picks up any calls. It keeps going dead. Because look, keeps crashing, keeps going dead, keeps breaking down. It's the same thing. Uh -huh. If you have a laptop, man, my, my laptop is bad. What happened? It keeps breaking down. It keeps crashing. It keeps jamming. It keeps going dead. Freezing. It keeps freezing. They're all correct. Okay, next, it says lesson objective. Participants will learn vocabulary for discussing things that can go wrong with electronic items. Let's listen to the electronic items. Hello, we want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keep and the words in the box. This time, you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving me crazy. It. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They. The UCD player often jumps to another song. It. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. They. Sometimes Ed can't use his solar powered calculator. It. My computer screen needs to be replaced. It. The answering machine never picks up any calls. It. Okay, so as we understand, it, it is for a singular object. Mm -hmm. They is for plural. And he or she is for people, correct? Right. But now with the inclusive, <laughs> with the inclusive. Oh my God, don't start with that, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's crazy with the inclusive. It's like they, it, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so um, let's practice keep in, in the gerund. Um, let me give you one example. Pupusas. How do you make the dough? With water and flour. With water and flour, how do you make the dodo? Give me the instructions. What do you do with the water and flour? Oh, 
Okay, class. You mix the water and flour? <laughs> okay, but remember what I want you, you to... Put, uh -huh. You put the flour on a bowl, and then you put water and... And I don't know how to you say amasar. <laughs> mix. Mix. Mix the flour but, with the with the water. So you you mix you keep mixing mixing the you flour keep mixing the flour with the water uh, until hasta, until you get a cans um, until you get the dough okay yes so thank you thank you Alejandra you're very right it's lo que quería oír. so you mix the water and no Actually, you don't mix the, you put water and flour and then you mix. And you keep mixing until it becomes dough. Correct? How do you spell dough? D O U G H. Oh, thank you. They in a donut. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oigan esto. Ya van a ver. Irma, ¿qué es dough? Oh. No, no, uh, Irma, Raquel. Oh, lo siento. No, it's okay. Es como ahora? No. Es lo que es lo que les digo, clase. <laughs> Ya dije la palabra cinco veces. Yo tengo tantos años de la clase. Yo ya sé cuando alguien no entiende lo que estoy hablando. Y está bien. Pero ¿por qué no preguntan? Nadie me ha preguntado. Yo sé que no solo yo. Yo sé que muchas personas quizás aún están que es dough. Pero nadie me dice, hey, teacher, what is dough? So, so dough es masa. You need to ask questions, class. I don't need to speak English. I speak English. You want to learn English. This is your opportunity. Why don't you ask questions? Two reasons. You don't care, or maybe you're not listening to the class. But you need, if you, it's a simple question, like, Teacher, ¿qué es dough? Teacher, ¿qué es cup? Dijo cup. Teacher, ¿qué es mix? Anything. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, to make dough, you, you, you put water, you put flour, and you keep mixing until you get the consistency of dough. All right. Um, mm. I have a question. Sure, Irma. Can you spell that word, please, for me? Dough? Dough, yes, please. Because I don't have clear the spell. Delta, Oscar, umbrella, goat, home. Dough. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you understand my spelling? Irma, did you understand my spelling? Yeah. Yeah. Dough. Yeah. Dough. También en caliche, dough es dinero. <laughs> I didn't really? That. Yeah. Hey, where's my dough? By the way, I'm, I'm sorry because I was late today because it's okay. I, my job very late. Wow, you got home very late, yes. So, okay, no worries. So remember, dough is masa, pero también caliche is money. <laughs> Como hay, 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 hay países but you mean like ghetto style? Ghetto, yeah. Como hay gente que dice oh, wow. la pasta, le dicen al dinero. Y, as Mexico is, they say, lana. La lana. Well, we say bolas. 
we say bolas. Son cinco bolas. <laughs> tuxas. Remember tuxas? Ya no se usa tuxas, ¿no? I never heard of that. You never heard of it? Son cinco tus. No. Tuxas o tuxas. It was something like that. Okay. So, keep mixing. So, what also... When you say keep and a gerund, it's not only to describe a problem. It's all. It's sometimes, is to give directions. For something. When you're cooking something. Imagine you're learning something and you say, "Hey, do you think that the chicken is ready?" No, it's not ready. Keep on cooking. Keep cooking. Keep on frying? Keep frying it, yes. Keep frying it. Mm -hmm. Oh. You're giving a direction. It's like, remember what I told you about the um, el Uber driver. No, el, el pedidos ya. Yeah. When you give directions. Okay, I live in the church. Do you know the church? Yes. Okay, keep going straight two blocks. And to the right, there's a blue house. That's my house. Now, so I gave them directions. Keep the study? Yes. When you call the doctor, doctor, you know, I still feel bad. Mm, what about the medicine? Are you taking the medicine? Yes, doctor. Okay. Keep taking the medicine. Sometimes when you're doing good in your job, your boss tells you, hey, or your teacher, hey, good job. Keep doing never it. Never say Yeah, they never say it, but you know, say, say. <laughs> keep doing it. We can dream about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. For example, oh. if I say, if I want to learn English, I keep practicing every day. Exactly. Practicing every day. Do you think you're going to keep working in Las Cascadas or just one month? Just one month, I'll be there. Okay. Because it's temporary, but uh, after, um, maybe. I I will get another job. Uh, it's not secure. I don't know. Of course, yes. I would recommend you teach English. Teach teach basic English to children. Yes, I would like, but um, in my neighborhood, I don't know who can I help because I would like to. Yeah. Because learn uh, teaching. I oh yes. Learn. More. Yes, you know, I learned so much teaching. Really, I learned more than the student. <laughs> but oh, for so many... You know? <laughs> no, you know, for example, like, remember when I explained to you I and me? Mm -hmm. You me, know... I received the action. Uh-huh. And But if I never studied grammar, I never would have known that. I just... So I remember when I was teaching, when I started teaching and I had to teach I and me. <laughs> so when I was actually teaching it, I was learning more. Me quedaba yo mismo. Oh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> yeah. So like for the first year, I was like, oh, you know, when I learned see, look and watch, what is the difference between see, look and watch? What is the difference between talk and speak? You know, so you learn many more things and then you learn how to explain them. So. It's interesting to know that. If you know about the opportunity. To, oh, to, what, what I would recommend to you is. Um, find your method. O sea, lo va a hacer, um, you will do it. Yeah. Amateur. <laughs> Amateur, yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. Basic, know. I can, I can teach. I yeah, can. you will do it. Like you help me, I help you. But that's, 
because mm -hmm. it's a great experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teacher, no. You are kids. right. See, look and watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. The difference. Yeah, class, do you know the difference between see, look, and watch? Mm -hmm. What? So, for example, a TV. Do you see a TV? Do you look at a TV? Or do you watch a TV? I watch. I watch the series, the programs. I mean, I know how to use it, but I don't know what's the difference. Uh -huh. A picture. Do you watch a picture, look at a picture, or see a picture? A photograph. Look at you can see the look, look at the picture. Or I can see. Okay. So... It's simple. Let me explain to you. See is an ability. Oh. You can see or you can't. For example, Stevie Wonder can't see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y si se dan cuenta, see siempre va con can. Pero... Oh. No solo queda en estar que si, porque if I see that Susana, Irma, Nidia, me, we use glasses. So listen to this. I have a problem. I can't see very good from a close distance, but from a far distance, I can see good. In my case, it's in the contrary. I can't see in far. Mm, yeah. So, for example, if I if I if I will see far, I need to take off my glasses. But when it's something close, I need glasses. So remember, yeah. so see is an ability. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now look. You look at things that don't move. So if you go to a museum, you look at the paintings. You look at the sculptures. Correct? Like contemplate? Yeah, you look. Mm -hmm. But when people say, looking at me? Look at what? Looking at me. Okay. Hold on. So you look at things that don't move or things that are not doing an action. But as I say, hey, go look at the baby. Because the baby is sleeping. Okay. So if look is no action, what do you think watch is? For example, is to observe something. Look at. It's your conclusion. If you go to watch, if you go to the museum and there's a painting of Salvador Dali, I will look at the painting for many hours. It, the, it, a, that look becomes observing, studying, whatever. But the painting has no action. It's not moving. Oh. You, you understand? Always so, clear. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when I say whatever, it's like, depends of how interested el interés que usted le tiene, what you're looking at, then you're observing, you're studying, you're analyzing. But look is, you look at no action. You look at the mountains. You look at the beautiful view of your hotel room. So, what do you think watch is? Smooth, moving. So yes. Put something's moving. Yes, watch is an action. So, you watch things that move. That's why you watch TV. You're watching the TV show, actually. So, it has see. Look, I'm sorry, see is an ability. Look is. No action and watch is an action. Pregunta. Alguien, alguna vez me va a decir, yeah, teacher, pero yo, hay gente que dice, did you see that movie? 
Did you see Barbie? Yes, it's correct. But grammatically, it's not. Grammatically, the correct way is, hey, did you watch Barbie? Did you watch Oppenheimer? Did you? Yes, I did. Of course <laughs> I did, yes. <laughs> the two Bob. <laughs> no, I watched I watched Oppenheimer. You see, I need Barbie. Oh man. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I I downloaded it for my wife. I want to watch Oppenheimer. But I have no time to go to the cinema. Download it. I have an idea how to do that. Torrent. <laughs> Look, you have to download a torrent agent and then go to a webpage because I'm at the Pirate Bay. And then you just download it. It's a guarda el torrent. Simple. It's risky. Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so do you understand the difference? Joanna, are you okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. I understand. So, okay. So, esa es la diferencia de see, look, and watch. I mean, basically, es así, porque see es la habilidad que uno tiene al ver. That's it. For example, so... um. Y hay unos que sí pueden y no pueden, literalmente, literalmente. Like Stevie Wonder can't see. Andrea Bocelli can't see. Y si they can't see, obviously, ellos ya no les entra ni watch ni look. Porque... Ahora, los que sí podemos ver, se puede dividir esa habilidad. Como les digo, yo tengo la habilidad de ver muy bien de lejos y no de cerca. Y hay otros de viceversa. Y hay otros que no puede. Yo, yo tenía un tío que era sacerdote, llegó a los 98 años y nunca en su vida usó lentes. And he can see very good. He could read. My grandma. He can oh. read with no problem. But in my case, was. <laughs> so, lo que les iba a decir es: aprendiendo inglés, me di cuenta. Que siempre que alguien hace una pregunta con can you, es una habilidad. Can you see? Can you swim? Can you dance? Correct? Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh -huh. And those are the things that you, you, you never analyze until you become a teacher. So, so now, listen to this. What is the difference between speak and talk? Speak and talk. ¿Quién me va a preguntar? ¿Quién me va a preguntar? Hey, ¿puedes I hablar? Speak is, is the ability. Mm -hmm. Speak. Speak is an ability. Talk mm -hmm. is the conversation. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because listen to this. ¿Alguna vez ustedes han oído a alguien que les pregunte, can you talk English? Mm. No. No, it's always, can you speak? Can you speak French? Can you speak English? Can you speak French? Can you speak Portuguese? Because can, so speak is an ability. For example, I have the ability that I can speak English and Spanish. Now, can a baby speak? No. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I am like a baby in the I, language. <laughs> I am like a baby. Por eso es que alguien pregunta siempre de que cuando el niño ya tiene dos, tres años, ya, ya le preguntan, hey, can he speak now? Porque está desarrollando la habilidad de, de speak. Entonces, talk is el bla, bla, bla. Teacher. Talk is the conversation. Must, you must give us more hours of classes on site. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like on site. It, it's, it's much better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, antes de irme, solo le voy a decir eso. Practique, de verdad, saquen la lógica todo. O sea, eh, 
Irma, si un día usted quiere dar clases de inglés o cualquiera de ustedes, les recomiendo mucho, aunque sea, hagan lo que les paguen o háganlo por hobby, empiecen dando clases de inglés básico. Créanme que ustedes van a aprender más que el alumno. <risa> ¿Cómo, sí, van a, eh, ¿cómo, van a clase, ¿Cómo van a dar clases? ¿Cómo van a dar clases de inglés? Es bien difícil porque hay mucha gente que lo quiere hacer como, ok, y les enseñan cómo decir las cosas, pero no les enseñan por qué. O sea, ¿Qué? de entrada, yo, yo me he dado cuenta, hay mucha gente que, que conoció muchos que dicen que pueden dar clases solo por hablar inglés, no significa que pueden, pero sí podrían si le hacen un lógico y se hacen ustedes un su mini mini método le voy a dar un ejemplo una vez, yes. in my case and the class and my children eh, como yo le estoy enseñando a ellos inglés. I'm teaching them how do you teach them how, what do in, you do in my, in, my, in my children my two children mm -hmm. eh, and my como me dijo bueno les estoy enseñando a ellos pero, ¿cómo les enseñan? ¿Qué les enseñan? Oh, ok, the learning, the learning, the, uh, the learning books, uh, example, the Santirela, o de Pinocho, in the music, listen the music in English, okay. the English. Mm -hmm. This is what I recommend to you. By my house, there's a store, y había un de esos mochileros, él es holandés. Y siempre que iba a la tienda, se alegraba en verme porque yo hablaba inglés y él no hablaba nada, nada de español. Y siempre me decía, hey, enséñame español, porque él sabía que daba clases de inglés. Entonces, hey, enséñame español. Y yo, no puedo. ¿Por qué? Si puedo dar clases de inglés, es lo mismo. O sea, yo me puse a pensar, ahí tenés razón. ¿Saben qué hice? Le dije, y a todo eso lo que yo estaba comprando en la tienda. Le dije, ok, eh, decime tres cosas. yo Voy a. Y él se quedó, what? Yeah, you just say that, repeat. Yo voy a. What is that? Just repeat it and I will see you tomorrow. Y God, I, I saw him the next day drinking beer. Hey, I remember, yo voy a. No, me, me dijo, yo voy a. No, no, say it separately. Yo voy a. And he said, okay, yo voy a. And I said, congratulations, you speak future now. I said, why? Because after yo voy a, after a, you can put any verb and a complement in Spanish. Yes, it's it so. And then he said, give me, y ahí empezamos with the basic. Do you know how to say eat in Spanish? Comer. Okay. So tell me, I am going to eat pupusas. And he said, yo voy a comer pupusas. Yeah. Oh my God, sounds and so then, easy. And, yeah, and I told him, how do you say drink in Spanish? Beber? Okay. Yo voy a beber cerveza. <laughs> yeah. So I taught him future in two minutes or three minutes, maybe. So <laughs> all I needed to teach him was yo voy a. And the rest, he can learn the verbs. I told him, look, I recommend you learn one verb every day, two verbs, three verbs, whatever your retention is. <laughs> it's similar in English. ¿Por qué se lo enseñé así en español? Porque así lo enseñé en inglés. I am going to. I am going to eat pupusas. I am going to drink coffee. I am going to buy a car so it's i am going to the verb and the complement so irma if you ever want to teach teach your students how to make the question and the answer okay i will do i will find the, the kids that they want to learn <laughs> yes because don't teach them verbs verbs are You know, yeah. sometimes people, they go, verbo de la A, la Z, and Google. Oh, no, man. <laughs> If you're a chef, learn verbs in, in your area, like cook, mix. Todo right. lo que... Yes? Pero 
Ustedes ya han oído el inglés técnico. Yeah. ¿Saben qué? No existe. <ríe> es una forma de mercadeo para... Oh, no, aquí le vamos a hablar un señor. No. In my, yeah, let me explain why. In my class puedo tener un chef, un mecánico y un doctor. ¿Yes? Le digo al doctor, ¿qué va a hacer mañana, doctor? Voy a operar el ligamento externo superior de bla, 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 bla. I don't know. Viene el mecánico y dice, yo mañana voy a quitar el piñón del cigüeñal de bla, bla, bla. I don't know. <risa> y viene el chef y me dice, mañana voy a hacer un fondue de bla, bla, bla. I don't know. <risa> so, pero los tres dijeron una cosa en común. Tomorrow I am going to. The verb and the complement. So, for example, le dije al doctor, ok, doctor, hasta aquí lo dejo. Tomorrow I am going to operate. Mañana voy a operar. Ahora, lo que usted dijo del tendón superior, no, no sé, es el vocabulario del verbo. Y eso yo no lo sé. <laughs> Porque no es mi área. Pero no es difícil averiguarlo. Lo difícil es decir, tomorrow I am going to operate la, el mecánico. Yo no sé qué es el cigüeñal, ni el piñón, ni nada. Pero si se decir que usted va a decir, tomorrow I am going to repair. Eso. Y el chef Tomorrow I am going to make a fondue, blah, 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 blah. Entonces, lo que les digo es, si usted es contador, busquen verbos de su área. ¿Qué, qué es lo que hace un contador? Analiza, audita y a cada verbo pónganle unos cinco vocabularios relacionados al verbo. Por ejemplo, el doctor, voy, él dice, voy a hacer el verbo operar. Entonces, voy a poner... Cinco vocabularios de operar. Si el mecánico es voy a reparar o voy a pintar. Voy a poner cinco partes del carro que se pintan. O sea, es, 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 ajá, es vocabulario. Eso es el inglés técnico. O sea, no, 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 no hay un idioma técnico. Hay vocabulario técnico. ¿Ya? Yes. And that's how people make scams. <laughs> that's how people scam, yeah. For example, in management, business management, uh, there is a language like assets, accounts. Yeah, but it's 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 not it's not a different language. It's just vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like in Spanish. Um, it's like in Spanish. El el um. El, 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 el idioma de las leyes. Uh, is, yeah. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I hope you have a very nice weekend and I will see you Monday, okay? See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Bye. You too. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.